last year we had a presentation by Ann Corbin and she was at one of the principals meeting and she talked about um, this opportunity for our students to be able to work with peers um, to be able to help one another and so I thought it was a great idea so I came back to Mr. O'Rourke and I said Mr. O'Rourke um, Ann Corbin did this presentation I really like to be a part of it where our students would become mentors and they would have mentees and it would help us with our uh, students and help them you know learn to be servant leaders one to another so that's how it started when I started there was only like 13 kids in pit crew now there's like 50 something so like more and more people are hearing about it every day and they want to join it and everyone's like oh you're in pit crew I tried to get in but I didn't I didn't get in and like a lot of people actually like it and you can see the kids who are being helped turning around and like not getting his fights not doing doing their homework I should, and doing their classwork and stuff. Well, I learn every day something new because in his class is, is algebra and it helps me because like math is like a ongoing, it's just like stack on top of yeah. stack. And like he, they learn different methods now that I didn't learn back then and it helps me learn with the, when I'm in pre-calc. Yeah, because I'm taking college algebra. So like, and my kid, my student is also in like algebra one. So it kind of like helps like with the learning class and then like I can reapply it to my class too or see what I can take from my class and apply to them. Well, especially my dad, when I first started this, he said, you know, sometimes the teachers learn just as much as the students and I'm getting great experience out of this. Um, so that was just helped me out along, along the route, road. You know, you never know till you try because I mean, yeah, we signed up for this, but a lot of these kids, they were approached and they were told that they'd be a good fit for this and they ended up loving it after knowing what it was all about. It's great. Um, I come in and he's he usually, usually has a smile on his face. The first day I come in, um, he asked me specifically for my help. So that was just a great start, um, coming in every day, wanting my help and, you know, just have to help him out and it's not hard, but it's fun at the end. You shouldn't be worried. The pay crew people will like help you when you need it and stuff. When I hear servant leadership, I think of a leader who doesn't act as if they're better than everyone else. They go back down to treat them as an equal and like let them know that not just I'm your leader, do what I say, but like I'm with you, let's do this kind of deal. At the beginning of the year, my student, he seemed open to you know what was going on and he understood you know why I was there that I was there to help him but as like the year progressed on and on I think he like didn't quite understand that I was there and willingly there to like help him with whatever he wanted and it was a huge struggle for the first nine weeks because he didn't want to accept that help or he wasn't reviewing whatever I'd give him and you know his attitude towards the class like slowly slowly soured and so i talked to mr work and mr williams and we all came in here and we talked together and it, after that it was like a complete attitude change he came up to me and apologized to me and he was like he's like i didn't realize he's like i didn't think that you know that might have hurt your feelings if i was you know rejecting what you're doing because you obviously care about me and you have a heart for this program so um, I think getting kids to understand why we're in here and that we actually care about, you know, how they do and inside the classroom and outside the classroom, <laughs> I think that's, that was what, you know, we came to an understanding about and his attitude completely changed after that. So. No, she asked me, did I, did I want like Caesar and Will to help me out and I said, yeah, and it really helped and I bonded really with him too, I bonded good with him too. So. It's a very good opportunity to do. It's a very good program. Um, you meet new people, such as a uh, buggy. Yeah. I mean, just chill people, and you learn new, um, new, um, new techniques and stuff. Yeah, techniques, um, new um, environments that you wouldn't have had before. You need, like, you can do. I mean, if you do this program, it's going to set you up for life, really. Yeah. We see so many programs come and go and fail, and I, I didn't know with my other workloads if I could honestly handle it, but I had to step back and look beyond myself. And here's the difference. It's not about a program, it's not about something being funded, it's about the kids. The kid, I guarantee in every school, 
there are the kids that are willing to serve and there are kids who need to be served. So on both ends of the spectrum, it's more than the program because it's the people in the program. So it's important, I think every school can, if we can do it, they can do it. The course code is there, certainly in Hernando High, the volunteer officers are there, the ability's there. It's just stepping up. It's not, it's not about if you should do it, it's about when. And I think the time's now, next school year as soon as you can. Why not every high school? That's all, I mean, it, it can happen. Out of the 56 students, 99% of those students have a, a passing grade. 56% of our students have a, a grade of A or B. Oh, I, I think I want to have it as long as I'm here. Um, I, you know, I've been at Hernando High School for seven years, so with being in existence in this second year, I can only see it getting bigger and better.